because I have so much respect and honor for everyone here. So it's a lot of fun to come back to this conference. Um, we've got a lot of people in practice that look at me like deer in headlights because it's a whole different system. So even though they've been there with experience, they're getting a whole new look of how we're going to do things. So it should be interesting. So I can't tell you how we're going to be yet. It's, we've got some talent out there, but they have to work, learn to work within our system and, and learn the game as far as you know breaking it down and stuff. So that's going to be interesting. Um, Lots of teaching. I tell you what, that's the fun part of my job right now. You kind of, you know, I, I was at Redlands for over nine years and it just becomes, it just becomes this machine that just keeps building and going. But now I'm going back to the heart of teaching the game and that is a lot of fun. So every day in practice, I have a lot of fun just getting the girls to go hard and, and doing some things. But now I want to tell you this, I'll warn you, if you haven't seen me, most of you guys know me though, but I'm a little spitfire, I'm a little bulldog. So when your team asks, when they, you know, when your players are watching, then they say, is she crazy? Yeah, don't, you know, just answer no, because I'm just a little, little bulldog over there. So understand, I'm trying to get my players to play passionately and go hard. That's the one thing we're trying to learn right now, is just to go hard. I don't care if you go to the water fountain. I don't care if you run to the wrong spot. Just do it, just do it hard as fast as you can. But uh, on the way up here, I was listening to a lady, and uh, I listened to a lot of leadership things, and I was listening to uh, Walt Disney had said, there are well poisoners, there are lawn mowers, and there are life enhancers in life. And he said, the well poisoners, they're the ones that defeat everybody's dream. They're going to squish it, they're going to tell you you can't do it, you're going to be defeated. Then there's the lawn mowers. That's the guy who's your neighbor, never comes out of the house unless he's taking care of his lawn, not really concerned with everybody else, has good intentions, but he's not going to be doing other things. You know, and then there's life enhancers, and hopefully that's what I hope to bring to our program is that we can be a life enhancer. Of course, I know all of you guys think the same thing, but but it really that's truly my mission. I want these girls to be great on and off the floor. I want them when we walk into Walmart to be holding the door open for everybody. And if we can win ball games while we're doing it, that'd be that's that's the ultimate idea. But I'm just looking for character and, and making sure we've got life enhancers out there. Thank you. Well, it looks like. I don't know. We, I guess we uh, went from one extreme to the other. We uh, last year had ten seniors. Uh, I guess that was a huge mistake. I guess it, it accomplished what we wanted to do. We made it back to the national tournament for the fifth time in nine years, but the nine were wiped out. So we had to get uh, ten players, and it wasn't. It's not. It's not going to be good. This, you know, we. I said we made it to the. I guess if you break it down, you make it to the national tournament. Uh, Every other year, well, this is the other year. <laughs> we, 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 it won't happen this time. So we're, uh, you know, we like our kids. Though. We, they're young. We got eight freshmen. We went from ten seniors to eight freshmen. Uh, that in itself is not good. And then, uh, I guess you can measure uh, the returning guy that we had back by the number of minutes he played. Not by his points or rebounds. He played 254 minutes. That's our most experienced player coming back. So uh, when you don't have anybody that understands what it's going to be like in this league, it's hard to explain it to them, and they just have to find out for themselves, and, and these guys will find that out. Uh, it's it's going to be a process for us. We understand that. When we went out and got eight freshmen, we knew what was going to happen. They don't know what's getting ready to happen, but we know. <laughs> and so, you know, they just gotta, we just got to try to get them through this, and then hopefully the next year they'll be better. So, you know, we're, we're, we're just excited to – to have a chance to, to play in this league and, and maybe these guys will get better um, over the next couple of years and then we'll be able to beat somebody. So that's where we're at right now.